Okie dokie. Well, uh, my latest little project here. This is a uh, Marks 490. Uh, picked this up off eBay for eight dollars, but and when I got it, and I tell you what, it was filthy. I mean, it was it was bad. I mean, there was there was crud. I mean, all over this thing. So tore it apart and uh, completely cleaned the motor, and you know, uh, went in here and just scrubbed stuff. And I mean, I spent I don't know, probably an hour just. And every time I cleaned it, I got more gunk off of it. So I did that, and then the, uh, the shell was pretty scuffed up, pretty bad. So uh, I repainted it with this flat black paint. This is uh, Rust-Oleum flat black, and uh, I got to say that paint did real well. I didn't have any runs anywhere. I don't think. Of course, I'm not a professional painter by any means but I thought it turned out pretty well it's a little flatter than say well, that's another marks but that's the 666 with the, the metal shell I guess the paint may look a little different on a metal one versus plastic anyway um, I haven't touched up the uh, I'm going to touch this back up with these screws because I had all this out obviously when I painted it but I also went in here and had to uh, re-solder the uh, wire for the light uh, back underneath the uh, the pickup here, which this thing is a little. Sorry, I'm trying to look at film at the same time. This is a little different than the uh, other Marks engines. The other Marks engines have a uh, spring underneath. This has just another bent piece of uh, phosphor bronze or whatever this is. It acts like a spring. It works okay. Uh, one thing I didn't notice when I bought it was. Uh, so if you can be able to tell from the picture here, but see the frame here, this asbestos board or whatever this is, right here on the corner, the, uh, see how the frame is it's broke off. And that wheel is almost wanting to come out of there, but it holds in okay. I did not know that when I bought it, or I would have said something to the uh, seller. And they more than likely didn't know about it either. Uh, that's a strange place to have something broken. Uh, but the wheel seems to stay in there. It's a little loose. But, I mean, you know, I paid $8 for it, so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, also, this is the uh, Marks, what they call the single reduction motor. It's only got one single gear here, whereas the double reduction motors, you know, obviously like the uh, 666 here, have the two gears. And everybody touts the uh, double reduction motors as being better. I don't know. I guess that's true. This one will not reverse, has no reversing uh, E unit in it. And it also has the, uh, what they call the Marks Fat Wheels, you know, which means the gears go all the way to the end. And also, I put a LED new bulb in there. Uh, that is a really tight fit, but I got it in there. I mean, these are pretty simple little locomotives. They're so easy to work on. Uh, so much easier to me than a Lionel. Uh, probably that's why they're so popular but uh, I was gonna questions always been whether the old Mark's fat wheel locomotives will go through like a typical line L or this is a, a raw switch you know and uh, well the answer is not really <laughs> I mean it kind of it kind of bumps through there and hits it hits the uh the guardrail you know now it'll go through these these flyers and everything without a problem so i ordered a uh a right hand uh guardrail switch and i'm going to see possibly about putting it here on this outside so at least i've got one dedicated track all the way around that i could run these if i want to when it gets here, I'll evaluate how good that switch is. I got it off eBay too. I think it's like $13 or $10, I don't know. I've never used those gar guardgrave switches that are, and the reason I meant to say guardgraves is because they're built like these flyers. You know, they got the swing pivoting frog or whatever you want to call it. But uh, 
these things really run pretty well. I was, you know, really kind of shocked. Of course, that's going through the switch. <laughs> it kind of makes it through there. But obviously it's loud and it, you could run it on DC too. But it runs really smooth. Uh, doesn't pull a whole lot of cars because that shell is plastic, you know, and it's got no weight in it at all. And it's got the new headlight in it. Of course, you can see that. If I fly through the switch, it'll go through there. But, uh, I mean, you could run it down. This is on AC. And it's got some good slow speed control. And that, that engine's got to be, oh God, 50, 60 years old. You know, and it cleaned up real well. I mean, I tell you what, it was filthy. But for eight bucks, I mean, hey, I'll get the grandkids out here and they can run the dog out of it. They'll never tear it up. You know what I mean? So, it was fun put, taking it apart, putting it back together. And, uh, like I said, the, the speed control on a lot of the Mark's engine seems to be better than the uh, Line L. Uh, I don't know why that is. Or maybe it's just the line L and the marks I've got. But it runs really well. I've got it, you know, if you wanted to switch with that, I mean, it won't reverse, but, you know, if it has a double reduction motor in it, so they run just about as good or better. Uh, I really don't notice that much difference between that 490 and, like, my 1666 there. Uh, as far as running characteristics, but, uh, Heck, it cleaned up real well, and uh, you know, one direction that's the only down, downfall of it, of course, the fat wheels. But I may have that remedy remedy here shortly, maybe in a couple weeks, I could do another video if I get that switch put in here. But I mean, heck, man, eight bucks can't beat it, simple to work on. You know, there's gazillions of these engines out there. I mean, it's not going to be for a lack of parts. They're so simple. I mean, just a couple of screws and you can take these things apart. You know, uh, almost all their motors like this, either this one or the double reduction, they'll interchange with just about any other, other locomotive. So if you don't have one locomotive, you can purchase a motor and find a shell and uh, make one. And if you ever really want to get into the Mark stuff, uh, Ben's trains, uh, he's the Mark's, uh, he's the Mark's king, man. I mean, he, he does everything with Mark's locomotives. He knows them in and out and, uh, he's got some great videos if you want to watch the stuff on the Marks. But anyhow, just wanted to show that off. It's the first time I've painted anything in a hundred years and the paint did real well. Of course, the spray can, spray bombs, but I don't care. I mean for eight dollars is if I screw it up you know it's not like I've got a twelve hundred dollar legacy locomotive I'm spray canning <laughs> not that I'll ever own a twelve hundred dollar legacy locomotive but anyway alrighty well I guess that's all for now